the term of the current assembly expires in December 2022. The assembly comprises of 54 representatives, nine from each partner state. In Uganda, the ruling party NRM has six members elected on the party ticket, the UPC1, DP1, and there is one independent member. But it's only the six NRM representatives who are eligible for another term. The Yara representatives are elected by national parliaments. Election Act 2012 requires that the National Assembly should elect the nine members of the Assembly within 90 days before expiring date of the outgoing Assembly. Tanzania's representative Adam Kimbisa, assisted by Fansin Kuhi, moved the motion. Those in favor say aye. Aye. This according to Yara MP is a short time for national parliaments to organize elections. They want it extended to six months. From 90 days to at least 180 days. This actually means that if the amendment is passed, the national parliament will be free to start the process by June instead of October 2022. I want to make it clear it is not extending our term of office, but it is re reducing or increasing the number of days within which elections of members of parliament can be carried. This according to the regional MPs will allow more time in case of litigations. Yala 2, Yala 3, Yala 4 have never been sworn in. We have not been sworn in on schedule because of litigations. The Republic of South Sudan National Legislature goes to recess from October until January. So we have it tagged within 90 days. It means the Republic of South Sudan will not have elections for Yala members until January 2023. Then for fourth Yala, it was even worse. We had to lose six full months because a given partner state still had some issues. So if we increase this time frame, I think it will help partner states to prepare themselves. The MPs have also cautioned against attempts to reduce the size of the parliament. But whoever think want to reduce the number of Iyala members. Nobody outside this parliament has the mandate. To reducing the, 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 the number of parliament. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I will inform the council. Thank you so much. <laughs> the amendment could be passed by next week, but it remains to be seen if the heads of state will assent to it. Jingo Francis, NTV in Arusha, Tanzania.